Okay, now you gotta behave. Look, look, it's on. It's the ginger show. Hi, it's Sunday. We had a good day at church. Kids did uh, Mary and Joseph reenactment. It was so cute. We're just kicking back now. Miss Ginger, no, no. Miss Ginger and I have been discussing a little bit about life and how and why things happen. I was asking. Now, you need to chill. Anyhow. <laughs> it's a struggle. But a love struggle. So anyway, um, that being said, I was talking to her about we're camping in our in our truck, in our pickup. Hey, no, you need to sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. She kind of knows how to do it. Okay. Now quit. Thank you. Um, and I thought people, you know, would look at us and think, yeah, are they homeless? No. <laughs> No, we just like camping out. I don't want to go stay in a dang motel. I'm not ready to rent a place. Uh, I haven't been here in Midland long enough to know uh, where to look for good places. Um, I'm looking for a different horse trailer. A little bit of job issues because uh, I'm a truck driver. There's I don't know how these companies get away with it. But anyway, uh, I'm hoping I'll have that remedied, you know, within the next week. Uh, I, I just can't work with companies that are not DOT compliant. It just puts me at risk and, and my license. Do you want, you know, get in your house. Go on, go on, get in your house. Now, get in your house, Ginger. Go on, go, get in there. You just stay. No, you stay. <gasps> See, it's a struggle. So anyway, I don't, I don't feel homeless. Okay, where's my stick? Let me show you guys something. See this? It's a back scratcher. <laughs> this is one day I was trying to do something. I had an important phone call I was on, and she was just going ballistic. <laughs> Um, it was a really, really important phone call, and I reached over and I bonked her between the eyes with this saying. It wasn't hard; it was, but it got her attention. So now this is this is my weapon of uh, you best behave, and, and she does for about a minute. Then I got to threaten her with it again. But um, so anyway, we like camp. I like camping out. Yeah, I yeah. I would like it better under different circumstances where I was out with my horse and we were camping out someplace. Uh, but right now we're checking out Midland and, and uh, seeing how much fun there might be. There's some things that I'm going to check out. I'm not kidding you, girl. You want me to bonk you? You need to sit. Sit down. Um, there's a drive-in movie theater, so I think, I'm not sure, I gotta, I gotta check it out, but Miss Ginger and I are gonna go, it'll be her first drive-in movie, and I haven't been to a drive-in since I was a kid, and I'm not, well, yeah, I'll tell you what movie it was, it was when Dumbo came out, oh, gosh, I love Dumbo, uh, so that's how long ago it was, so, and I haven't even seen a drive-in movie in years, didn't even know they had them anymore, sorry, I gotta roll my window down again. No, you're not getting over here. Sit, lay down. Thank you. No. Thank you. Good girl. Oh, and guess what she did? Kind of excited about it. Because I haven't been able to get her to jump out of the truck or jump into the truck. Um, and so, I, Which means I have to pick her up and put her down. And, and she's getting to be a little chunk monkey. So anyway, now she's learned that she can jump from the seat down to the floorboard and then jump out yay but now i got a teacher she just can't do that whenever i open the door uh, so we're working on that and she did jump back in once 
but she had kind of like of a bobble, so it made her nervous. Do you mind? It made, you know, made her a little nervous, so we got to work on that. I'm going to get the stick. You need to sit down. Thank you. Um, and then I've got, you know, this, this child is so spoiled. Look, I've got, she's got toys. I got toys hanging for her. She's just, I know everybody thinks that my truck is a little jungle gym, but got to keep the girl busy. She got to play at the barn today. Uh, tested the barn manager at Luna Rosa Stables here in Gardendale, where my horse is at. It's a wonderful place. Bless their hearts. Uh, Tessa, I, I'm so blessed. I feel so secure with my horse being there. Um, and she even played daycare to Miss Ginger uh, for a few days uh, when I started this one company. And uh, it was great. You know, Ginger was so tired. She, well, and then she's got a wonderful son, a uh, little boy. And so they played in the barn today. Just ran, 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 ran. So I'm hoping that she is really tired tonight and gets some good sleep. I got to be at the yard at 5.45 a.m. in the morning. And my voice is probably never going to be the same, y'all. I, <clears throat> the wind and the dust, really, I guess if I have to say something. Do you mind? If I have to say something, that's kind of hard on me. Um, and my sinuses. Oh my gosh, there's a crow. Let me see if I can get it for. I don't, oh, sorry, I don't know how to do this on my truck. Can you see? Look at what's it got? It's got something on the side of my truck. Whatever it is, it must be tasty. So anyway, uh, I got a yard up at 5.45 in the morning, head out, more dirt. Um, I'm still looking for other places to work. I kind of have no choice. I'm really taking a chance working for this company. I won't say its name or anything, but it is, and I didn't realize it. It is just so non-DOT compliant. And like I said in another video, yes, I know I could get in trouble, but y'all gotta also make a paycheck. I gotta pay for these critters that I got. I don't, ow, you little poop. Jiminy crickets. Um, so it's Sunday. It's beautiful out. It is windy, but it's still beautiful out. I hope y'all had a good day. Um, uh, got Miss Ginger's bedding wash. So she's, uh, she's all set for the week. Um, and I think I'm going to pretty much the same place tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll video. And I doubt very much that they... All right, see this? I doubt very much that they got my windshield fixed. I keep hearing, it's on order. We're in Midland, Texas. They are window fixing places everywhere. They can come out and fix it. I've been doing this long enough to know so you know I've done found out that this windshield has been like that for close to a year from two other drivers so it is what it is I'll look for other employment and call it good but I hope you have a good day a good Sunday thank Jesus for the day however it turns out there's a reason righty adios y'all